Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 3.4 from Sadiku book. So the question is find V1, V2, and V3 in this circuit. So this is the voltage that we are looking for. V1, V2, and V3. And this is our ground. And here the voltage here will be equal to zero. Okay, let's see here. We have a voltage source between V1 and V2, so we cannot do KCL here. We need to use supernode. But also, we have uh, another voltage source here between V2 and V3. So we need to use a very big node here to, to use as a supernode. Why not two supernode? Because if we use two supernode, this V2 will be counted twice and that will make the calculation complicated. So it is easier to make it one big super node. Okay, so maybe let's draw this one here as our super node. So we will have here as our super node. And then we assume the direction of the current here. Maybe this one going down, this one going down, and this one going down. And here maybe this one is going to the right. Okay, maybe let's do KCL at the super node. KCL at super node. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the current that goes out. Okay. And I think there is only one current that goes in and this is from here. So it will pass through the 6 ohm and goes in into super node. So let's write that. So I will have V1 minus V3. V1 minus V3 divided by the resistance that going between them. So that will be 6. And all the other currents is going out. So this one, this one, this one. But this one also going out. So I will have that. So I will calculate this first. So I will have V1 minus V3 divided by 6. And then for this one here, I will have V1 minus 0 divided by 2. Then plus... This one here, which is V2 minus 0 divided by 4 and plus V3 minus 0 divided by 3. So I'll have V3 minus 0 divided by 3. Okay, this is a same term. So we can cancel this out. Maybe don't use green. I need to use another color, orange maybe. So this one and this one. And this becomes zero here. And we can freely calculate the other. So the left hand side becomes zero. And then the right hand side becomes V1 over 2. And then plus V2 over 4. And then plus V3 over 3. Uh, I want to get rid of the denominator, so I can multiply both sides here by 12. So I will have 12 multiplied by V1 over 2, that will be 6 V1. Then plus, this one will be 3 V2. And this one will be V3 multiplied by 4, yeah. 4 V3. 4 V3. And I want to move this 0 to the right hand side. So I will have 0. So here is the equation number 1. Okay, we have 3 variables. So we need 3 equations to be able to solve this, right? So the another 2 equations came from the voltage source. So maybe let's do add this one first. So I will have add 12. 25 volt, 25 volt voltage source. 
I will have P1 minus V2 is equal to 25. So I'll have P1 minus V2 is equal to 25. Let's have this at as equation number 2. And now let's see this voltage source here. So I will have at 5E, 5I, 5I source. So I will have this one here, P3 minus V2, P3 minus V2 is equal to the value of this voltage source, which is 5I. And what is I? I is this current here. So we can substitute this by using Ohm law. So V1 minus V2 is equal to 5 multiplied by V1 minus 0 divided by 2. V1 minus 0 divided by 2. Okay. Let's simplify this one. Maybe multiply both sides by 2. So we can get this simplified. So I want to write this as minus V2 first. Minus V2 plus V3. And that is multiplied by 2. So I will have minus 2 V2 and then 2 V3. Minus 2 V2 plus 2 V3. And then on the right hand side, I will have 5 V1. And I can move all of this to the right hand side. So I will have 5 V1 plus 2 V2. And then minus 2 V3. That will equal to 0. Let's have this as equation number 3. So we have three equations and three variables, which we should be able to calculate using calculator. So let's rewrite that as a matrix form. So I'll have 6, 3, and 4. And then I will have 1, 0, and minus 1. I mean 1 minus 1 and then 0, and then this one will be 5, 2, and minus 2. And then our factor here is V1, V2, and V3. And the result factor will be 0, 25, and 0. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is just put them into calculator. So let's take out our calculator and then set up it as equation solver, which is number 5. So I will need to use three variables, which is number 2. And let's input the matrix 6, 3, 4, and then 0, 1 minus 1, 0, and then 25, and then 5, 2, minus 2, and 0. So I will have our x here is 7.609, okay, so p1 is 7.609. 609 volt and what is V2? V2 is minus 17.391 okay. 17.391 volt and the last one V3 what is V3? V3 is just 1.630. 1.630. So this is the final answer. Is it the same? Yeah, it is the same as the answer given by the problem. Yeah, hopefully 
this will help you out to solve this problem. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.